Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about the co-main event, Armin Sarukian versus Joaquin Silva. Armin Sarukian is one of the best fighters in the world. 26 years old, 19 and 3 is a pro, and he's giving up one inch of height, but he's got three and a half inches of reach over Joaquin Silva, who's 34 years old and has a record of 12 and 3. So a lot less experience for Joaquin Silva, but he's been around the block and he's been in the UFC for a long time now. So whatever. Experience isn't an issue here, but he's just much more inactive than Sarukian. Sarukian, he's got seven finishes by knockout, five by submission, seven decisions. His three losses come one by knockout, two by decision. The one knockout loss was to this guy Balik many years ago, early in his Sarukian's career, and he avenged the loss with a guillotine choke a year or two later. The two decisions are the ones we know. They are to... Uh, Mateusz Gamrat and Islam Makachev. Two of the best fighters in the world. Islam beat him, I think, on short notice. I think Sarukin took the fight on short notice. But regardless, he gave Islam one of the best fights Islam's ever had. I think it was the best, maybe, until Volkanovski, of course. But he's in that very, you know, uh, small club there. Him, Mansar, Banui, and Volkanovski. But Sarukian really showed a lot in that fight. Of course, he was in general out grappled. But uh, since then, he's been the grappler in just about every fight, aside from the Gamrot loss. That was a fight in which he... Fa- I, I hesitate to say he faded, but Gamrot is just a cardio machine. I feel like Gamrot just gained and gained as the fight went on. And he, um, you know, he won by relentlessly out-wrestling him down the stretch. Just keep pressing. That's not something that Joaquin Silva is going to do. And, of course, this is a three-round fight to begin with. Um, Joaquin Silva, he's 12-3, and three, like I said. He's got three losses, two by knockout, one by decision. The two knockouts are to Ricky Glenn and Nazrat Hapgrass, and they're both relatively recent in his MMA career. His one decision loss comes to Vince Pichel, in the UFC, of course, and he actually looked good in the third round in that fight, but still, too little, too late. His uh, 12 wins come 7 by knockout, 3 by submission, and just 2 decisions. He's a very potent finisher, and still, at this point in his career, he's a very dangerous guy. I just think the knockout losses recently make him less dangerous overall, and I know he knocked out Jesse Ronson since then, but in general, they make him more concerned and of course more vulnerable i do think he is uh much more vulnerable these days sarukian he is i mean the path of least resistance is always him ripping his opponent to the mat that's how he's beaten some really good fighters damir ismagulov matt frivola davi hamos joel alvarez he beat the shit out of but still he ripped him to the mat to do so he has gotten it done on the feet. He knocked out Chris Jos Jagos with a big left hook. Kind of the Joaquin Silva's two knockout losses both come via left hand. And he knocked out this guy Felipe Oliveri with a third round head kick before he got to the UFC. And that definitely showed something. This guy, his striking's come along and it's only getting better. Here I do think he's got a small chance of knocking out Joaquin Silva, you know, especially with a left hand like he did with Jagos. I do think he's got a chance there. Uh, just because Joaquin Silva is more vulnerable these days. But overall, I expect him to feel some power and say, hey, this might be easier on the mat, and rip him to the mat. And Joaquin Silva's never been submitted. He's capable defensively, and I think Sarukian might might get him out of there down the stretch if he uh, gets him down and takes that route. But overall, I'd expect him to win a point battle, I guess, to win a decision, even though he's probably trying really hard not to as, uh, you know, He's got these high-profile fights in which he should be dominating. He's a minus-1,000 favorite. He should be finishing Joaquin Silva. But the only time that's happened is on the feet. So I think a best, the best chance for him is a knockout for getting the finish there. Joaquin Silva, he's a very dangerous guy. Knocked out Jared Gordon. Again, knocked out Jesse Ronson. I think he has one chance here, and it's getting Sarukian out of there via knockout, and that probably means round one. Uh, before Sarukian decides to start, you know, manhandling him. And I have played that. I've played Joaquin Silva by knockout at plus 2,500 because I'm a degenerate. Uh, I might throw something on Sarukian by knockout in round one, 
But I think uh, in general, this is something I'm staying away from. I just think uh, Joaquin Silva should lose. And Sarukian, if there was one way that I could trust over the other, I would probably bet on it. But really, I'm just staying away from this. The odds are too long. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.